Hey guys, um, it's AMC2123 here, and today I wanted to talk about something more important. If you've read the title, then you either know what I'm about to talk about, or you're just like, okay, what is this? What is she trying to tell us? And that is that I live with MRKH. If you don't know what MRKH is, basically you're born with it and doctors do not know if it's genetic. It's like, okay, let me start this over, I'm sorry. Um, so MRKH is something that you're born with. Doctors don't know where it comes from. It could be genetic, but it could also just come randomly. Nobody in my family that I know of has MRKH, and I ended up getting it. So basically what MRKH is, uh, when a woman is born without a uterus, basically. Basically when we were in our mother's womb, our reproductive systems were basically growing, but did not fully get there. So we were either born without a uterus or with a very tiny uterus, which would cause us not to be able to give birth. It also makes us not have periods, and that, I can understand why that seems like amazing, but this, this is my story, so I'm just going off of my personal experience. Growing up, I always wanted to be a mother, I always wanted to carry my own child, and <laughs> no matter what, everybody knew that I was the mom, it was an unspoken rule. So whenever I played house with my friends, I would always put a pillow under my shirt, normal pretending to be pregnant thing. I would always be the mom whenever me and my friends would play Barbies growing up and stuff, I was always the mom. And I always dreamed of being able to carry my own child and then realizing I can't. It, it hurts. It really does. And growing up, I never felt normal to begin with, and I don't know if the MRKH had anything to do with it before I found out, <laughs> but I just, I always thought I was different and weird, and then when I found out about MRKH, I believed I was a freak of nature, and that not many other girls would understand. Because to this day, I still haven't met another female who has MRKH or knows anybody besides me who has it. And all I've seen are girls on the internet who have it. And that's mainly how I learned. The doctors, they tell you that it's a common thing that a lot of girls have it. The only doctor that knew what any kind of MRKH was, was the specialist I went to go see. I have seen many doctors, like my OBGYN, my primary doctor, etc. They had no idea what the hell it was. They had no idea how to treat it. They had to look it up themselves. And then they recommended me to a specialist, and I met her twice, and it's just, it sucks. Like, yeah, no periods, yay. But there's a lot of things that come with MRKH that they don't put in their pamphlets that they hand you, or they don't put on the website. 
They don't tell you about the emotional pain it'll bring. And you could be going deaf. And I got that. I'm going deaf. You can have spinal problems. MRK H2. I have that too. And then you you could only be born with one kidney as well for some reason. Luckily, somehow I lucked out on that one when I was born with two, so. But nobody prepares you for the mental pain that'll come once you hear. You're not gonna share the same traits as, you know, somebody with a period. You're never gonna experience period. You're never gonna experience childbirth. And for me, that was really hard. Because, like I said earlier, all my dream since I was a kid was to be able to start a family. And I remember tell, like, talking to my sister growing up and even my grandma, my father, my mom, all my family members, all my friends. I remember we would talk about when we had families of our own and then how we would deal with the pregnancies and all that. And then to find out one day that you're never going to be able to carry a child. It's heartbreaking. It just... It hurt. I didn't... I didn't know how to cope. I've tried to make this video so many times because I want people to know that MRK is a real thing and a lot of girls struggle with it and it's really hard to talk about. But hopefully you all have the courage to post this and if you can just share the video, share more MRKH videos, show the world how truly hard this is to live with and how heartbreaking it can be for a lot of girls. <laughs> oh my god. Just to give some more information about MRKH, in case you're still wondering, like, okay, so it's heartbreaking. What exactly is it? Well, this might be a little too much information for some people, so you've been warned. Um, basically, girls with MRKH can't have sex unless they do two things. There's only two things to even help it slightly, and that is to use a thing called dilators, which are embarrassing, or you could have surgery, and that is super expensive, and most doctors will not allow you to have the surgery unless you have a dilator failure first, so isn't that just fucking great? We can also technically have our own kids because we still have eggs and we would just need a surrogate, but it, it sucks to hear that, especially when, you know, you want to carry your own child and then you have to find somebody else to do it for you. Of course you could always adopt and something like that, but just not being able to have the chance to carry your own child, to get pregnant, to have a 
quote unquote normal girl life, it just makes you feel like a freak. And I have come to terms for the most part, but that doesn't make it suck any less, doesn't make it hurt any less. But, I mean, this is who I am, and I really want more and more people to realize that this is a hard thing to deal with, and I don't even know how many girls have to deal with it. <laughs> people say a lot. I don't know. Like, I know there's a lot of girls out there who have to deal with this, but I've never met any. Never seen any. Only have seen them on YouTube or Facebook or something like that. It's just... It sucks. Just... I'm gonna end the video, but please... Please realize how devastating this can be for a girl. How even a guy, like, say a guy doesn't know that you have MRKH, and then one day he comes up to you and you're already married or whatever, and he's like, let's have a kid. And you can't. Because the way that you have to do it is going to be ten times more expensive and ten times more hard. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and if you watched through the entire video, thank you. But, yeah. Laters.